Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, they were live now. This stupid this thing. This is why we technical uh, difficult. This is why we're called crazy on the mic because we are so <laughs> crazy. Uh, this is all kinds of jacked up, guys. I know. Um, I'm gonna talk to my technician after the show. We will we be a, having a meeting about this. We need to fire the producer. Yeah, the producer is ridiculous. Hey, hi hey, everybody. everybody. Hi now. Bianca. Hi Sarah. What's up, hi Sally. Hi. So yeah, we were we were pretty much uh we were deep in this we were podcast. Yakking it up for, Guys, we were deep like, in this podcast. Hold how on, long hold on, hold how on. long was this going on? Does it we're tell you? Almost live. We we're eight almost minutes. Nine, eight minutes. Eight minutes. We were going. <laughs> Guys, we had a lot of juicy stuff oh my being God, said. What the fuck? Yeah. So right. uh So we're starting now. Hey, yeah. what's up, everybody? How's it hey, going? Crazy's on the mic. Crazy's yeah. on the mic. We're here on Sunday. Like uh <laughs> cannot believe that that's so funny so what happened was every time you do this live and you every time you set it up on youtube you got to turn on the auto start uh, so when you hit the start streaming on your your program here that streams you it automatically starts in youtube I, right? I, <laughs> and when i set this up i guess i guess you gotta like uh, turn it on every time so i didn't turn it on so we were sitting there talking for like fucking nine minutes and <laughs> yeah i mean Sally, Sally's texting she's on the chat and she's like i'm waiting and i'm like for what <laughs> for your life like, for your live and i'm like it's on she goes when do y'all start and i said it's on refresh she's like mm, i don't see it and then i'm like what the fuck's going on and i started looking around and i see up top where the button is it says you're ready to go live stream all you got to do is press this and i'm like what the fuck oh my god oh my god okay so guys <laughs> so um let me start all over and say that um it's so funny that we were literally just talking about um how prepared we are yeah for this podcast Apparently how very prepared. how very prepared we have been and we have been discussing topics mm -hmm. and having focus meetings mm -hmm. and um yeah that's not true okay yeah. so first of all um hey eva <laughs> so so we're, we're on sunday like we were saying and we uh what we're, what we're saying we're oh, so, so, so we decided you know i know that we have been pushing and begging to try to get on on saturdays but yeah. uh we had a couple of focus groups yeah. discuss with us how sunday seemed to work better that yeah. we uh and we noticed that the views were uh were <laughs> being biggie bathing in the back showering, um showering so we've noticed that there was a lot more views on sunday yeah. versus saturday and you know what i feel that because i'm like my social calendar was feeling the cramp on that one i mean come on it, yeah, we're uh you know saturday and you want me to stay in well, like, we figured that everybody's out on saturday so they're not worried about being home watching a, a live youtube uh podcast and they'll know? catch up with us later or something sunday everybody's at home they're chilling they've done all this stuff that they needed to do it's that time to kind of relax so now we can catch people hanging out yeah so um so we decided you know let's try it again let's yeah. give it one more again yeah and um so we, we're trying it on sunday and here we are but i think this is probably going to be the 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 time and the i know that spot. you and i know that you really wanted it on saturday so that you could edit and yeah. and do all like the the meat of the show yeah on that's why i wanted on so I sunday have all day sunday to 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 actually take the podcast live and put it on audio so that I could put it on the podcast. And I understood that. And that was my goal for you. But you know, it's not I mean, about we got, you. We got an obligation. But to it's our not, fans. yeah, it's not about you. It's about them. It's about the we fans. need, we need to make our fans feel comfortable and, and, and entertain them. We're here for you. Yes. We're here to, to, hey, to accommodate y'all. So, uh, that's why we're doing it today. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, I was also <clears throat> in the uh, first eight minutes of the show that everybody missed. Mm -hmm. I'm glad y'all could make it. Since it was practice. Yeah, JK, practice. JK, JK, JK. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> Testing one, two, three. We started seven oh nine. <laughs> so um Sally came by last sunday and of course after the podcast and she had reached out to mike and needed a light they were going to be playing night volleyball at her friend's house 
and she walks into the house and she you know like introduces herself making sure that it was okay to walk in because according to her i like to walk around in not wearing pants biscuits making biscuits and making. so um she was like asking you know hey does everybody got pants on mm. meaning me and i mean i felt attacked like hey man, in my own, our own home. house we can do what we want man we can walk around <laughs> in our undies you know what i'm saying yeah, we're, felt really we're empty nesters you know yeah. what I'm saying? still you know, attacked you can't just walk in the house you know what i'm saying so um we could be doing some other she tells <laughs> she tells me her friend <laughs> watching movies praying mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> worshiping i mean yeah <laughs> worshiping the lord we don't need to get distracted <laughs> you know we could be we could have we could be having a bible study a bible study saying? yes so please introduce what yourself. did y'all think come on man get your mind out, <laughs> out the gutter, the gutter. so uh this is the christian channel <laughs> So she um she she gets she gets a light from her dad and and uh, she yeah. tells me that her friend that's with her it was her twenty first birthday they were they were over there playing volleyball at a buddy's house so they needed an outside light and I had a spare one so they came to scoop it up um uh, just pause that thought for a second where's that light at you know because you didn't bring it back is that why you're Sally, making dinner where's my light at uh-huh. anyway use my light mm mm-hmm. In a bit, uh, so she, uh, so she's getting ready to uh, leave, and I'm like, hey, you know, she tells me it was her friend's birthday. She turned 21, and I'm like, hey, I have some liquor. <laughs> Completely forgot I have liquor under my kitchen sink. Never thought we were gonna be those kind of parents. Right? I know it was really Sarah's strange. Like, take this, take, take that. this. You want some Trulies? You want some? Yeah, do you want? I wanna... got some uh, rum down here. You want some rum? There's this bottle of I don't know what it was. Was it Jack Daniel something or other? It was just a. It was like a like a wine cooler ish yeah. type thing and so i give it to her and her friend and i'm like you know make sure you're not drinking and driving please do not open that in your car um you know if you need somebody to pick you up i'll pick you up let me know if you need um uh, if i can't pick you up i'll send an uber your way mm-hmm. but please be responsible and be announced to us apparently Sally's a boozer yeah apparently she, 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 she was loved we facetiming boozer. her she loved we was the FaceTime, Sarah was FaceTiming her, and she didn't know that we caught in the background a bunch of bottles of booze at her house already. Yeah, they looked empty. Already. Already. Mm-hmm. She's been 21 for like five seconds. I know. And she's already be drinking it up. She's like, act like she got to catch up. You just started. <laughs> so. <laughs> Take slow. And so, but it felt strange that, you know, mm-hmm. here I am giving my baby, uh, you know, alcohol After all those times telling them not to drink and, and be responsible and stuff. as far as i know she was really a good girl oh, yeah. and that's you know what don't tell me she, any different i don't want to know i think she already knows her limitations because i know i wasn't ready when i was at, at that age i was getting hammered but see Man. i was getting hammered way before that oh yeah me too mm-hmm. when i was Sally's age she's 21 psh, yeah i had to 21 play. was what how old you were when we got married i was 22 yeah. and i was already so, boozing it up yeah so yeah we were she's a late bloomer she's late to the party yeah she late to the party always mm-hmm. late to the party <laughs> so we uh <clears throat> so there was that i mean you just such an obvious as she walked out the door and i sat on the couch i was like man that felt strange <laughs> <laughs> giving my kid Give my kid alcohol alcohol that was weird <clears throat> am i that kind of parent am i i don't am know I the drama <laughs> am, no no i'm not the drama yes i am am i the drama <laughs> am I the dr- that's a serious is thing. it me jesus <laughs> <laughs> i love tiktok man gosh dang those tiktoks are hilarious I'm telling you, man so um what was the other thing what we were practicing on for the eight minutes before the show started <laughs> oh Oh, see, I done lost it. Uh, uh, we oh, were so, talking about like getting prepared. Like we were so prepared for this episode, not so prepared. Like uh, once again, we're. Oh, I I had got um, I had made a note for topics for the podcast. Oh, in my phone, and I sent them, Sarah. You know, I sent the notes so that we could share the notes and we could add topics at, throughout the week. I want y'all to understand what Mike sends me all day long between. He'll, he'll ask me through text. He'll ask me about bills mm-hmm. and um, he sends me my good morning uh, wishes and um, mm-hmm. affirmations in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then at um, all day long, 
if on my break or something, I open TikTok, I will have numerous amount of TikToks. So I don't know what he's sending just me. Keeping you up to date, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's sending me at all. I'm so text messages. I try to glimpse at them, but mm -hmm. with my job, I get busy. Like I can't even sometimes look at my phone. Yeah. And um, so apparently he sent me a text message. It was a link to our notepad and yeah, to and tell it, us it got lost in the text message. Yeah, I saw it yesterday, mm -hmm. and I don't know when you sent that. I think Wednesday, I sent it like yeah, very easy. early in the week. Easy, easy. Yeah. It could have been Wednesday. So yeah, there was no notes on there. There was no topics. I mean, there was one, the Sally getting uh, giving Sally booze. And then, so apparently, <laughs> I'm talking to Sally. So Sally came over this evening, and she's making us dinner. Yeah. I feel like she wants something. Oh, I just out of nowhere, you know. She's gonna tell us something. I know it. I know. So she, uh, she's making a uh, homemade pasta, chicken Alfredo, um, homemade Alfredo sauce, and um, I'm really excited. All right, guys, we gotta go. It. See you later. Thank you for coming. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so she um so she comes in and and i'm telling her that oh well, what are we going to talk about us i think uh, your dad said something about we're going to talk uh that your aunt Brainy mentioned like talking about halloween movies i said yeah i said too bad you're not in there because that's their thing yeah. their thing their thing is halloween yeah my sister said suggested since it's october and it's halloween month to maybe talk about uh scary movies or scary stories or something scary and so with that which said, is cool because halloween is on a sunday and that's when we do our podcast so we're gonna we we should have a special halloween podcast should we dress up Maybe. anyways hold on let me pause that so uh so selly uh was like well yeah daddy put that on facebook and of course y'all know again i do not have social media I, see the, the, yard, yard, yard. did i put that sabrina did that she's the one that put on there about suggestions i think she commented on one of our one of my posts that had nothing to do with suggestions or whatever she just commented saying y'all asked for suggestions yeah stroke <laughs> <laughs> y'all asked for suggestions and uh here's one you know so i was like oh i like that so so um so then sally was like oh your manager didn't even tell you like you should fire your manager and i looked at her and i'm like but wait you're a manager and I'm like, your ass should be fired. I know. Why <laughs> Why do we even pay her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you I mean, start deducting her checks. Yeah. So she doesn't even watch. Like, she doesn't we, didn't even we say watch. That already? Yeah. I, she doesn't even watch. I mean, she, the only reason why she's watching right now is because she's in the other room and I turned the TV on with the podcast going. Yeah. So, cause she doesn't watch us. With the live going. So. I can send her text messages. I can call her. She doesn't listen. Everything. She does not pay attention to us. She hates me. She didn't even listen I've to one her and podcast she that she me. was on. Yeah. She was on two podcasts and two she podcasts. didn't, I don't even think she listened to those. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, so I'm anywho, I'm grateful yeah. kids. You know what? When this podcast blows up, we, you know, start making that buku mo money and we move out, we move it far away. <laughs> I want to move now. Nobody. We ain't telling nobody. Tell nobody. <laughs> I tell y'all, I've always said I'm going to change my name. Selling. I said I'm always going to change my name. It's mm. not going to be mommy no more. Mm -mm. That's it. My name is going to, I'm not telling y'all. I'm not going to tell you what my name is going to be. <laughs> so, yeah, so Sally, um, came over with a homemade pasta that she made and we've had this before and it is if y'all never had homemade pasta it's like a whole nother world i know I it's know. it hits a whole lot so different, different you know it's amazing and so um so i'm excited i love i miss and love her cooking mm -hmm. so i'm excited to have that um earlier right when we realized that we were not on this whole time i got super excited because i saw bianca was here mm -hmm. and um i was really excited and got ready to tell y'all i was telling y'all and then mike's like stop hold on <laughs> i'm like oh man. don't waste it save it for group save it <laughs> save it for the podcast so uh bianca's getting married in two weeks hey. i just told my son today <laughs> he didn't know <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, listen, I need to know if you have a nice clothes or not. And if I need to take you shopping, I said, we need to dress up. It's a really nice wedding. So we need to be prepared. He goes, who's getting married? I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, hello. My bad. Your cousin. Yeah, it's Bianca. Bianca's getting married. And so we need to dress nice and please gather your your items and bring them to me and make sure that they're, you know, I can make sure that they're clean and pressed and everything. Make sure clothes are good. And Sarah's like, oh, you need to try your suit on and stuff and make sure it fits and stuff like that. I said it here. does fit because I'm fat and I was fat when I bought the suit, so it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here cannot with him. No. So, um, yeah, I'm like, you know, Marco, do you got stuff? Do you need stuff? Selly, Marco? Marco is Selly's boyfriend. Hey, okay. Introduce Sorry. Everybody say hi to Marco. Marco. Yes. Deep voice. Yes. Marco comes on. He's like. You thought, my, you thought my voice was was sexy you know <laughs> marco comes on here he's like like uh like the bass boom 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then um so <clears throat> so that's in what two saturdays yeah so bianca i hope you're ready it's on the way other side of town I'm excited. So we got a hotel and stuff we're gonna yeah. stay over there oh back over here to do the podcast on that day oh yeah on sunday yeah, yeah. it'll be good hopefully we'll be... we're not drunk enough to where uh, we can remember stuff oh yeah i hope so too yeah. so we should it's always a stuff. great time it is guys it is always a great time with my fans with me less I than two weeks less than two weeks yes uh -oh. 13 days Butterflies. 13 days mm -hmm. b take a note from me and him 22 years 22 years it's been so long it's been pleasant. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> we said it's for life. For vida. We, it's we're, like a prison sentence. For life. I know, right? And I'm like, is this a life sentence? <laughs> and I look over at my, my wedding license. I'm like, is that what the little words say? That's life a sentence? A contract. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's going to be a great time, guys. I wish... I wish I could do a live with my entire family. They're so wild. They're absolutely wild. See, like I was just saying that, B. I was literally just saying we go live at the that. wedding. Yeah. Oh my God, that would be so right. much fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it, it's it'd possible. Be epic. We can do it over the phone. It would be epic. How yeah. many people go live mm -hmm. at weddings? Yeah, goals, action. That's it. Go. That's it. I'm going to have to so, uh, work on that and see how we can do that. We are super excited about the, the next couple of weeks. We we love Tim. Tim's amazing. He's super He's super sweet. He's an awesome mm -hmm. guy. Awesome guy. And I'm glad he was able to catch you. Mm -hmm. Um. So we um. <clears throat> so we have that going on. Biggie back there taking a shower. Yeah. Close um, your legs. Be a lady. We <laughs> Close your. Oh, my God. So get her. She's we have weird. new decorations if y'all can see oh, yeah. uh, you may not be able to see one of them so you'll see the moon you can see I the moon on my tell. camera you can see the heart on my camera yeah but there's another one up there that says goals yeah so we got these little neon should, signs why does he get the great view back view i get a door well, you know you could tilt it up but then there, you won't be able to see you because you're so little <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about willis <laughs> I wanted tall. that camera angle. I do. I like this camera like angle. That camera angle and anal. Did what? you say anal? No, no. You're... That's how, That's what no, it sounded like. That's an angle. Oh my god! Censor us. Oh my god! Flag this right now. Mm -hmm. You two uh -oh. flag Shut us. it down. Shut Screen's gonna go black. Down. We're gonna get booted for guidelines. I'm telling you, goodness gracious. Oh, Mark DeLuna chilling back there. Uh, what? You see Mark DeLuna? Where do you see him? He's in the back on the couch. Oh, I want that you dropped that. Dropped that. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh wait, y'all gotta know. Let me tell y'all the story about Mark DeLuna. So, Mark DeLuna, the frog from Build a Bear, is my son. So yeah. we took the kids when they were little to build a bear. Did, did we take them or did I, my sister? I think my no, sister took them. No, we were with them. I think you were with them. I wasn't. Oh, uh, Were you in Pennsylvania at that time? Mm, well, I don't remember. I don't know. Mike worked a lot when they were little. Like yeah. he would literally work two jobs, go to yeah, school. And work. so like he literally would only see them once a like week. Once a week on Sunday. You know? And um, so 
my daughter had a, ki a white kitty and her name Ooh, was Miss Kitty. I think she got rid of her. So her name was Miss Kitty and she would do the little meowing noise. And yeah. then Cisco got the frog mm -hmm. and got a little Texans jersey on him. Mm -hmm. And he says, I love you. Yeah. And we were like, well, what are you going to name him? And he goes, I'm going to name him Mark DeLuna. <laughs> We like you gotta know Cisco. The Cisco doesn't come my, up with a lot of stuff. What's weird though is is that that's my brother's name. So he named him Mark DeLuna, but he doesn't call my brother Mark. No, he, he call calls him Man Man, and I don't know where Man Man came from. Yeah, he just I don't know if he couldn't say at that point when he was when he met my brother. I don't think he could say Mark. Right. Well, and then we had cousin Mark, which is my cousin, and to this day, he's like cousin Mark, cousin Mark, no issues, but he calls me man. Cousin and, man, that's what stuck. It just stuck. And so we <laughs> have this frog, mm -hmm. Mark DeLuna. And so you're sitting here saying Mark DeLuna, and you're I'm like, my brother. I'm literally like, <laughs> where do you see his name? What screen are you looking at? <laughs> and you're talking about the damn frog. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious, though. Mark DeLuna. Yeah, He's Mark DeLuna. The, He's part of the crew. Yes. And Biggie so, back there with Biggie. the legs spread open. She's part of the crew. Yes, Biggie. Uh, I, I asked Sally, you know, it, please keep an eye on Biggie because, you know, we usually bring her in during the podcast. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she's standing at the door. She was ready to go. She's ready to go. And so I was like, okay. Get her <laughs> like, some headphones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she, uh, this is our crew. This is Crazies on the mic. Behind the scenes with uh, Mark DeLuna, Biggie, mm -hmm. me, Sarah, and Big Mike. Big Mike. So, um, so yeah, yeah. good times. <clears throat> I cannot believe for almost nine minutes we were just talking to each other. I don't even want to talk to you. I talk I know, to you all day long. We don't need to talk to each other that much. Oh my god, I talk to you all the time. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you. Did I ever tell you that our neighbor has a microphone thingy on his car? And so one day he was driving by, oh, like a like a, a like an intercom, like he, a speaker. Yeah, like the cops would have, yeah, right? Yeah. And he was like. And I totally had no clue that he was going to, I didn't know this existed. Mm -hmm. And he drives by and I thought, first of all, I thought it was, uh, what's his name? McConaughey. Mm -hmm. I thought it was what he sounded like. He was like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I swear to God, I blushed so bad. I was like, oh my God, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Who was it? And he just drove by and I'm like, oh, that was awful. So that was funny. It had me cracking up. Yeah. Um, so this, um, so this week we just kind of been chilly, but yeah. I want to ask y'all a question. Y'all, you, you know, y'all chime in and let me know. Okay. Do I sound like, like the automated systems on like recordings when you call a business and you got to be sitting on they hold? Say, they say, listen to our menu because it has changed. <laughs> Press <laughs> one. If you want to talk about billing. So Something. I was, so I, <laughs> I have noticed this and then finally had one person tell me mm -hmm. that, yeah, you sound like the automated person. Because they thought you were. They thought I was. <laughs> um, so when I answer the phone, uh, for example, I'm like, good morning, crazies on the mic. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. My name is Sarah and my number is blah, 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 blah. How may I assist you today? And I swear one lady was like, um, she goes, registration ID. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, I just, I just knew that she. I told Sarah, you should have said, did you say registration ID? <laughs> say yes. If that's correct, I say no <laughs> to change your answer. Oh my God! Should have kept the, going with it. Oh man! <laughs> See how far you could have got. I tell you, I I do have fun with these people. I really do. And like one girl, I was talking to her, and I'm like, "Are you on? Are you in NASCAR? Like, mm -hmm. are you on the track? Because that's my life goal. I want to be on the track." And she was like, oh, no, that's my boyfriend driving. I said, okay. And so we're finishing Very up. Good, because she could hear background noises. So, you know, you. I was taking a test one time at work. Or um, they were talking about um, 
like situations at work, you know, um, they were talking about like a bomb threat, you know, hearing background noises and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, Sarah's pretty good. She could hear the background noises and stuff and remember what's going on. And, and that'll help her in a bomb threat. So he, um, so I, as I'm getting off the phone with this girl, I'm like, I said, listen, I don't know who your boyfriend is racing, but I hope he wins <laughs> because it just sound like he you was racing. Said, you should have said, one, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I do enjoy having fun with these people, but it's so funny that they think I sound like uh, the automated system. And, it's, and I'm like, very nice voice. It's and and I get that so much. Yeah. They tell me all the time, you have a really pleasant voice. Like, it's very nice. Thank you so much. And there are the times that I just want to fight everybody. Like, I woke up choosing violence. But inside, she's like raging. Oh, no. Like, I'm literally vocalizing, vocalizing it to them. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, we can do this. Like, I'm just trying to help you. You don't want my help? I mean, that's going to be on you. And I keep telling myself, you know they're going to fire you, right? <laughs> They're gonna fire you. Nah, nah. You good, you good. And I have people that they'll ask me, Can can I do a survey for you? You have been so much help. And I'm like, mm, I, I think don't the know more think people about that, it. The more people that you help outweighs the, the bad ones, you know. So Yeah. That's what they need. Yeah, it the, it really does. So yeah, it's pretty fun. You're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing somebody's work. Mm-hmm. So we So uh, uh so tell me, okay. uh, this is where I wish Sally was here because I'm no Sally good for this. Wanna get on. I'm no good with this. I, I can help Sally a little bit. Want to be on the camera, but I don't. I can't. I can't give I you think, a whole lot. I think I'm. I think. I think I need to prepare more. I didn't even prepare. You know? Well, let me let me help you because mm-hmm. that's that's what I'm here for. Okay, okay. I'm a, I'm a helper. Okay, so it's the beginning of October. Yeah, and um. October is known for many things. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice. I'm not that girl. Latte. Latte is still not that girl. Mm-hmm. And um, flannels. Flannels. I've seen Over it. I don't Houston, own it. Man, we don't do that. Uh-uh. We can't. It's We're like balls 80, it's still it's like upper 90s. 80s yeah, this bitch. Which even 90s, I'm sure. Lower 90 degrees outside right now. You can't sweating. even enjoy those pumpkin patches because you're sweating your balls mm-hmm. off. You know? Hay rides. And I would love a hay ride. Yeah, it got, it got yeah. cool for a, a second here last. Oh, and it wasn't it was last like, week or the week before. I think it was the week before. And it was so great. And it was amazing. It was gone. Yeah, yeah. It's gone back to sweating. And that's when Houston shows that she's bipolar, yeah. and she will flip the switch, and you're hot again. I know. It sucks. So, um, so October is known for those things, and then mm-hmm. it's also known for Halloween. Yeah. Now we don't decorate, but we do like Halloween. Yeah, and not like it. it's not for everybody. I like it because, like I said, the the scary movies and stuff. I like to watch scary movies. So, so I used to love go to going to Halloween parties. Unfortunately, my partner over here does not like scary movies, but and he doesn't like to dress go, up for Halloween. She'll go to fucking haunted houses. Hell yeah. Anybody going to haunted houses? What's invite the fucking, me. Take what's me. the point? Speak, I mean, what's the difference? Look, no, this is a great topic because I don't really care for the Halloween stuff. Huge supernatural fan. Enjoy it very much. Um, don't know like everything about supernatural, but I'm pretty close to it. And my entire family enjoys Supernatural, correct? Mm. Yeah. Correct, okay. Um, So that is the closest I'll get to, like, spiritual stuff. I don't like spiritual scary movies because I believe in that stuff. I really do, and I don't like that, and I don't want to 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 invite that in. Okay, (laughs) so last Halloween, Mm -hmm. Steli and I, was it last Halloween or was it the Halloween before? (laughs) I feel like it was last Halloween. So Sally and I went to a Halloween, um, a haunted well, house. Well, maybe not because it was the height of the pandemic. Yeah, so it that's could what have I'm been week, the, the, the year before. I think it was the year before. Yeah. So whatever it was, me and Sally went to a Halloween, a haunted, haunted house. house. Yeah. And she loves 
loves like that is her and her dad's thing is to watch haunted movies like scary, scary movies yeah. okay yeah. and um so she loves this stuff like it, it is her jam and her mm -hmm. jelly and she can't wait to have kids to dress them up in michael myers stuff and and jason stuff like she thinks it's it's like so fun and funny and um weird kid always been like this as a toddler and so i take her i go with her with her co-workers at the time to a haunted house yeah um it was last year for work okay so uh we go mm -hmm. and um she's petrified <laughs> she is petrified so i am doing what i do and i put my mommy pants on and i'm protecting her but i'm having fun because this is what i like i like haunted that's houses. so weird right because you, you don't weird. like scary movies but you like haunted houses and i'm not i mean i'm i'll go to haunted houses but i'm not like a big fan i used to houses. like watching uh nightmare on elm street yeah. even though that really was so realistic for nightmare me on, like in your brain you could have these dreams yeah nightmare on elm street i think was the worst it was the worst one for me i think it it scared the, it scared me when i was a kid like i would have nightmares what's but we, we were, everything else was i'm good with we were watching hellraiser i could mm -hmm. watch that what um mike would play video games resident evil mm-hmm and I would watch that. That was like a scary movie for me, watching yeah. him play Resident Evil. And then he would play uh, Doom? Doom 3. Doom 3? Yeah. I don't know. Doom 1, but two, yeah, Doom I, I was always into like the, the horror games and stuff. And so I would watch that and I would be jumping too. Like, mm -hmm. and I remember seen... that one time, man, we was at, because at my parents' house, so we would play, we had an Xbox and it was like the house Xbox, you know? And we were already little, we were already older, you know, so we had one TV that we would play it on, which is the living room, right? And we would take, kind of like take turns, you know, one would play one night, somebody would play another night, whatever, you know? So I was playing and I was playing the Doom 3 and I was looking around, you know, as the character and stuff, because it's like a first person shooter. If you know, it's it, all it shows is the gun, you know? So I'm looking around and I'm looking down at this corpse that's on the ground. It's like a soldier that's dead. So I'm looking at it and I'm getting really close and I'm really inspecting it. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden my brother comes out and he's just like, Ooh, man, I fucking jumped. I threw the remote control in the air, man. I fu it fucking scared the shit out of me, man. That was, that was like the only real time that I got scared fucking playing those videos. I've games. seen, you have scared me um, plenty of time. So, Tom, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, that was with Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Um, and, and let me For some just, reason, that one, man, freaked the fuck out of me. And, and hey, Yolanda. What's up, Yolanda? And so, like, realtor. just so to, you know, just to jog your memory, Tom, um, kind of the theme song was very eerie and you would hear kids. little girls singing one two freddy's coming for you three four better lock your door five six grab your crucifix so yeah that good yeah, jam i don't know good for jams. some reason that that one nice lullabies like i said for some reason that one you know that when i was a kid that one scared the crap out of me like i had nightmares legit now, I mean, I could watch them now, but before it was just, I don't know. I don't know why that one stuck to me. And I, th I think it stuck a lot of people. So, yeah, I could, you know, I, and I watched some scary movies. So don't get me wrong. Oh, you're the best. Thank you. Um, so I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I can watch some scary movies. Like we watched The Ring, was that? Oh, yeah, that one's cool. Oh, didn't Mark scare us on that yeah, one too? Yeah, we was my uh, brother-in-law. Uh, we was watching that. Jackass. We were watching that ring, <laughs> and uh, it was at the very end, man. The very end when it, I don't know if you've seen the ring, but at the very end, you know, it start the video pops up and it starts going through the video that that people had, were watching to get you know cursed. And my brother, for some reason, he walked in front of us and went outside. And we missed it. Like, and we, we didn't did even... not pay attention because we were so involved in the movie. He walked outside to smoke a cigarette. And well, he stayed outside and he was looking through the window at us. And when it hit that part where the video was showing, 
So what happens once the video shows? You're supposed uh, to get a phone call. Yeah, you're supposed to get. There you go. There well, you go. at the very end, my brother saw that and he fucking called the house at the perfect time. And man, we both looked at each other like we were probably white as ghosts. Yeah, we yeah. He he thought that was fun. And then he comes in and he's just fucking giggling like a little schoolgirl. And that's the other, you know. And that's the thing. <laughs> like his sister, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. All my in-laws side of the family, like my my mother-in-law's side of the family, Halloween's their jam. Mm -hmm. Like that is their thing. Like my, my mom's not that no, no, much into no, it no. now that she's But like your Aunt Bertha. Christian. But yeah, them they all like it over there. On her side of the family. Yeah. I think all of them I maybe minus Karina, mm -hmm. but all of his aunts and uncle they uh the uncles they all liked halloween yeah. and all the cousins would get dressed up but that's in san antonio so like we never party. got to yeah they, we never got to really go yeah. but we would hear about these parties so like it was it was a big deal for them so um but yeah so halloween is coming and yeah. Selly already wants to have a date with her dad on the 15th to go watch the new halloween movie but <clears throat> but you no know, i got a lot of conflicting uh scheduling stuff going on um sarah is supposed to go that day to watch my high school play football which i'm wearing the shirt right now see that so ho versus everybody <laughs> my buddy made this shirt he has a he has a t-shirt company so um <clears throat> called 97 graphics here in houston if you need shirts 97 graphics so we were <laughs> <laughs> plug much shameful plug my bad <laughs> david lamb i got you boy <laughs> <Plug> <laughs> so um <laughs> well me five blow <laughs> send nudes <laughs> shameful plug five blow so Bye below you listening my sponsor <laughs> so funny but she's supposed to go watch soho play sam raven which sam raven was the team that she watched last last week and uh Sally wants me to go watch halloween that day so you might have to figure out maybe a time see maybe we could do it after the game if they have a late let showing ask, let me ask you a question you go where am i supposed to sit you I remember on my side. I know, but listen, remember, I'm the jinx mm -hmm. example. Okay, this, oh, uh, hold on. We'll talk about Friday Night Lights in a minute. Yeah. Uh, but back to, he doesn't know if he's going to go with her to go see the movie right that moment or maybe later on that after the game, they can go watch it yeah. or another day. Um, but why does it have to be opening night? It doesn't, We. I don't know. She said. She said, she said. What she say? What she say? She don't, said, don't, don't be rude. rude. I never watch movies on the day they come out. Oh, so it's not necessary to go that day. Anyways, <laughs> so, so you're not missing out. So you're missing out. <laughs> so uh, they, you know, they're already planning a movie night to yeah. watch scary movies. And this was going on for quite a while since she moved out. They were literally like getting together to watch. We were doing it like on Sundays. Yeah. On the Lord's Day. I'm telling we're you. We're blessed. What the hell? You know what I'm saying? Nothing can touch us. We're blessed. I uh, cannot. <laughs> but I wouldn't watch. Except mm. there were two times that I was watching with y'all when I was watching Hellraiser. Yeah. And I was cool watching Hellraiser because it was lame. Man, those things are, ooh, man, the acting gone down on those things. Ooh, the further was... you get into them, the, the further the series you get, they, they, uh, they didn't, they weren't very high budget on the acting. I'm trying to think of all the scary movies that I have seen. Yeah. I have no desire to go try to catch up on movies either. I like the Jason. I watched this one. I watched the Jason versus uh, Freddy. Because it was more like comedy. It was. It was you hilarious. Know? I thought that shit was so, funny. Um, so. Um, I think you could watch like the, the like like maybe the zombie movies that are, that are more like comedy wise or something you know i think growing up when a uh, night of the living dead came out mm -hmm. i may have watched one maybe two I, I can't remember uh -huh. but i didn't like that also i used to watch the creep show 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Tales from the Crypt. Oh Those boy. Those were really that scary. Words. Yeah. Hello, crazy fucking roaches crawling all over you and and killing you. <clears throat> Uh, so, oh, so scary me oh yeah so like i watched some of them but i'd have no desire to continuously watch them i just don't and that's why we tell you hey we're gonna watch a scary movie today you know uh you find something to do <laughs> <laughs> so go hang out with your buddy natalie <laughs> so i've been working out again um, guys, here's the thing. In three weeks, I'm going to be out of commission for several move. weeks. She can't. Move. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm, I haven't even got, I lay in bed having to go to the bathroom and I'm like, mm -mm, I'm just going to pee in myself. Just, just going <laughs> to just lay right here. It's going to hold as I can long as I feel, can. I, yes. My bladder is going to explode because I'm laying there and I'm like, <gasps> oh, my thighs hurt. <laughs> I tried to put some shorts on and I was like, ah. <laughs> I had to grab my leg. I had to grab my leg and put it in the leg hole. Like, here you go. It's where you go, guy. Because <laughs> I didn't, I was in so much pain. And I was just trying to take it easy, too. I wasn't going hard in because I had been out, not working out for a little bit. So then, um, <laughs> dirty dancing. It's scary if you don't know how to dance. <laughs> It is. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah, I'll break an ankle. Some that, I mean, some of those people that do dirty dancing, they're pretty scary. Mm -hmm. You know, they shouldn't mm -hmm. be dirty dancing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> so we, um, what did we do? Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I'm sore, right? Yeah. But anyways, in three weeks, I'm going to be out of commission. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how much I can be involved. I mean, I could be on the couch and record the podcast. I don't care. You know, y'all don't care. I don't care. Yeah, but we'll figure it out. We'll um, yeah. But um, in three weeks, I'm having surgery. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be out of commission. So that means I'm not going to be able to work out. I decided to wait. I am the worst procrastinator. Like, I want to wait for the day of an event and then try to get healthy or whatever I got to do. <laughs> Make that happen. Mm -hmm. Watch miracles happen. I'm gonna, Be I'm blessed. Gonna start, I'm going to fast for a week. Yes. <laughs> so, Bianca gets married in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to try. But listen, I have dresses that nobody's seen that I've had forever. Yeah. And I already have ideas. Like, I'm going to wear that one. That's a pretty one. That's a yeah, nice a pretty one. pretty woman, that's she? Yes. Ah, oh, elegant. <laughs> And um, so I decided, you know, let me try to work out. And we've been eating pretty decently healthy. Yeah. yeah. I would not be judged. Just let y'all know that right now. You will not judge me. So, um, so anyways, um, been working out really sore. Yeah. Plan on trying to figure out how to, to do the podcast or, or Mike's going to have to do this solo and get in, uh, you know, some a guests. replacement you know some guests coming <clears throat> in or whatever oh, maybe Sally will make a comeback oh please lord you know maybe she'll lord act right this time and not freeze up on the camera oh no she won't she'll still see if you she, ain't seen that go back to that video yeah you'll see a totally different celestine hit, hit up our page and, and see yeah. our special guest mm -hmm. um our daughter slash manager slash uh, stage fright stage fright <laughs> <laughs> so um but Halloween, that will be like a week from my surgery after me having my surgery. So, um, oh, oh, I'm so upset right now. Mm. Um, leave me alone, John. Mm. So anyways, so, um, so John is apparently judging me right now because He's I'm judging drinking. you in the chat. Yeah. Just cause I'm drinking my yingling mm -hmm. that I manifested, mm. right? It's called hydrating. What, but what did we do here, babe? What did we do for this? We we manifested Yinling to come to Texas. Dude. Came to Texas. So if y'all are drinking the Yinling, you could thank us. You're welcome. You're welcome. And you're welcome. Mm -hmm. And you're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, so we're gonna be doing that yep. now. Let's go back to Friday Night Lights, okay? So yes. So here's uh, we're gonna. Get into our Friday Night Lights section. Friday Night Lights. Welcome to Friday Night Lights. Welcome guy. to Friday Night Lights with Sarah DeLuna. Today's game was Clear Creek High School versus Dickinson High School. How did that go? Clear Creek lost. 
who were you going to see? I went to go see Clear Creek. The Jinx is still alive, folks. So the Jinx is still strong. Put a pin in that thought. Mm -hmm. The Jinx. All so. right. So we go to Clear Creek. Um, we uh, Clear Creek Indi Independent School District was the school district that I went to. Yeah. And um, uh, Dickinson was uh, this young lady right here, Taylor's alma mater. Okay. okay. So ironic that I'm using her koozie from mm -hmm. her, her graduation uh, from SFA. And um, so uh, Taylor graduated. So anyways, so I had some familiar, you know, it's familiar. Uh, you going knew to somebody that went there. At some point in time, yeah. So, but I you knew, knew who they are. I knew nobody at this time. Yes. So, oh, so <clears throat> ow, I just knocked myself out. So I go with Natalie, <laughs> my little co-anchor buddy. She's, yeah, she's my Friday Night Lights buddy. So we go together. Uh -huh. We're excited, and um, we go to the stadium. And I'm looking around and I'm like, Sarah's like, yeah, we're going to go to the stadium, the stadium over here um, at so-and-so place. And I'm like, okay. And I, and I'm, and because Natalie told me that's where it was going to be at. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and mind you, the high school is right across the street, literally mm -hmm. from Natalie's apartments. So we go to the stadium, which is not by Natalie's, apartments. which is not by Natalie's it's far apartments. away from Natalie's. Apartments. Yes. A couple of minutes. <laughs> driving uh -huh. and um so i get out the car and she gets out the car and then she gets a phone call from her daughter who was joining us with her yeah. friend and she was like well what are the colors okay uh nights and i'm like hmm? what's going on here so she goes it's at the other stadium it's the stadium by my house and i'm like we're at the wrong state folks we went to the wrong stadium and well, it's I not go yeah i was gonna say it's not we <laughs> it's me when did you become french well this so, <laughs> this podcast <clears throat> segment went to the wrong stadium folks exactly <laughs> so i had been there in the parking lot in the vicinity driving around for like 30 minutes waiting for natalie mm -hmm. so then we go we make our way to she and we're driving you, i'm here at the house you know i'm working on podcast stuff and and i get a phone call we're at the wrong stadium. Oh my God, yeah. man, damn it. Good times, good times, right? <laughs> yeah. So now, um, I think earlier that, di earlier that day it had rained, okay? So keep that in mind. And so Natalie calls me. She goes, hey, just meet me at my apartments. I'm like, okay, where well, are we going to park? She was like, just follow, you know, follow Megan, which is her daughter. And I happen to be behind. So we go. Mm -hmm. And we pull in right at the front of the apartments and she's like, you know, we're just park our cars here, walk across the street. Okay. Well, it's a busy street and it's not super, super busy, but it's busy, you know? So you're mm -hmm. going to, you're not going to stroll across the street Okay. and it's dark mm -hmm. on that street. So you're going to have to, you know, kind of book it a little bit. Yep. So we start running across the street and I jump into the grass on the other side of the street and I, I, as soon as I stepped, I was like, oh, water. And I, you know, luckily it didn't get into my shoe, which was cool. That's a good feeling. And I jump out and, and I'm, I started to say the words. I was like, you know, be careful. There's water. And Natalie comes running behind and splash. She's got sandals on. She has those Jesus shoes, sandals or something. Jesus so, walks. <laughs> so, so she just Jesus like walks additions. And so she hers her sand like when she puts her foot up, like water just like strips out. Like, like it just splashes. It even like black like gets on her her legs and stuff. So we're like, okay, great. And so we're walking to this place, and my my heel is you hurting. Haven't got there yet. I haven't even got there yet. It is packed because it's okay. homecoming mm -hmm. again. Homecoming these homecomings but this homecoming wasn't like the other homecoming at all so we get there and um we're trying like it's so packed and we're like where are we going to sit on the creek side and we're looking around and we we're like okay well i'll sit over here on you know she's like let's sit right here so she gets ready to sit down and she realizes that her her ex-in-law's family is sitting right there and she was like oh hey everybody so we sit down 
And um, then her daughter comes up a little while later and says, hey, um, I'm going to go to the concessions. I said, I'm going to go with you. So at the other school um, from the following week, they had ATM cards. So I was banking on that and thinking, OK, I'm going to give me a pickle. And this time I'm going to get me a hot dog because I want a hot dog. <laughs> And um, it was not really dog poop. <laughs> so, um, so we go down, and the lines for the concessions were crazy, uh -huh. crazy long. And I'm s standing there, and I'm looking, and I'm like, it's been a while, at least t fifteen minutes. And I look, and I'm like, hey, May, um, I think it's cash only. And I see an ATM and I see a sign that says surcharge. Little known fact about Sarah, she refuses to pay surcharges to any ATM. If I need to have cash, I will go to my bank's ATM and get money from them because I refuse to go to a little ATM and pay them money and then pay my bank money all, all to get my money. So have you watched any of the football game at this point? At this point, no. <laughs> Okay, thanks for the question because okay. it's a good question. That's a really good question. It's a fair question. No. So I'm standing there in line waiting and decided, okay, I need to go back. So I go back and I actually ran into a friend of mine, a high school friend of mine. I ran into her and chit chatted with her for a few minutes and then went and sat down. Well, this whole time, like we could hear them cheering and stuff and like i'm like oh my god they're making a comeback they stayed about a good 21 points down creek stayed down from dickinson dickinson was winning the entire game um halftime came along and we watched the show dickinson pulled like they did like great i was like oh look at this band is like really getting it had a jazz solo is then they had you know these dancers come out and they were performing mm -hmm. it was fabulous it was really i was really impressed Did you say you said something about the guy that has a flag whenever they make a touchdown oh, the guy hold on. hang out there yet hang out there yet so uh -huh. So then they come back from halftime, right? And um, and as soon as they, they hadn't even got on the field yet for the first time going into the third quarter, kid down. Why? I don't know, but he is down. He can't move. He can't even get out to the field for the first play for the third quarter. And I'm like, what the hell? Next thing you know. He went down running out. The, I think so. From the fucking from the little from the back. Yes. And, and I'm like, and then the next thing you know, bam, another kid all on the creek side. All oh, of this Lord. is on the creek side. I'm like, what is like happening? Flies. I'm in this he probably got into the second play. If if that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is happening? Do y'all need pickles? Do y'all need a pickle? Cramps. You're getting cramped. What's happening? They and you need can some see, electrolytes. They did. Stat. And you can see the little ambulance lights on just the whole entire game. I'm like, are y'all picking them up? Because they need to be picked up. Mm -hmm. And I think there was a third guy. I think there was a third guy that went down on the Creek side as well. Yeah. So at one point, Creek scored while I was there to see it. Because remember, I was down in the bleachers. We had came late because we went to the <clears> wrong game. Friday night lights. And so... Or Sarah doesn't watch the games. So the, flag, <laughs> so the flag guys that Mike is talking about, there's like a flag. A guy has a flag himself that he's carrying. And, and then yeah. his little buddies have a flag. They all have flag. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's four for this one. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's for the school. C -A -A C C H S. Clear, Clear Creek High School. Okay. Okay. So what All do right. they do with these flags? They run from one end of the field, from one goal to the other goal. When? When they score. And okay. so I finally get to see this happen because of the San Rayburn game. I didn't see it they happen. They never got to do it. They never got to do it. They went, the, and, guy, the flag guys went home and said, 
Better luck next time, mom. <laughs> and you know, I felt like they would go every day, every morning. They would get they up and they would stretch, and stretch, they stretch. They grab the flags and, and they would and hold it on their shoulder. Yeah. Without getting too much wind turbulence. You know? Yes, exactly. They practice the they, perfect hold. Exactly. And, and so. Go over it every day. Every day. And then come game day. And they come home and they're like, not this time, not Mom. this time, Mom. Maybe next time. Next time. I know. I'm going to be out there, Mom. <laughs> you have your camera time. ready. <laughs> Is that, are, are we bad for now? Are we going to hell for that? Let us know in the chat if we're going to hell. We're going to hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> so. Type hell in the chat if we're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> and so when I saw it, I was like, oh man, that's <laughs> that's what was missing at the last game. The flag boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. It was it was something. But it's unfortunately, on. they lost. Yeah. Okay. So I propose to you again, what do I do? I think See, you might have to sit on Sam Rayburn. But here is and, the problem. And if I go, I, I'm going to be on my side. I'm going to be on But here's side. the thing. That was the thing that's silly. Hell. <laughs> Instant hell. Straight to hell. Don't pass go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but here's the thing. The uh, the reason I said I would go see San Ray Burn again was so I would sit on the opposite team. But you said, the, but you said last podcast that it wouldn't be I Dobie know. or South Houston. I know I did. So. Now I feel bad, and that's because that may be the last game I can go see. I know. That may be the last game I can go see because I'll be recovering from what? my surgery. I mean, did you look up Sam Rayburn? Like when they play, where when they're. Oh, Where? no, I, I guess I, I don't know. Mm. Oh, whatever. I just know that's they were playing South Houston and I was like, well, there goes that. So I hope they practice really hard and come on, Sam Rayburn, you can do it because I might have to sit on your side again. Mm -hmm. You're playing South Houston, but are they really good? They're probably not. I don't, I don't even follow South, South Houston's really not that good. So hope. No. So hope. They're lame. The world us against the world they're really lame you got this sand rayburn i believe in you so Sally, we're gonna have to sell we're gonna have to look for late showing so. so that is the uh the score was the last that i saw we ended up leaving nine minutes into the third quarter mm -hmm. and it was 42 to 21 dickinson was winning and awesome. uh they were doing well dickinson was doing very well there were no any there weren't any outstanding plays it wasn't nothing like not like san rayburn's there wasn't very many highlights no not for no not really not not yeah no not really the highlights were at the concession the the running to you know oh my god and then why was my back killing me there oh my I god i didn't why. even get started we're gonna why. start on that shit again you know why. so we ended up leaving and um but we you know as always, me and Natalie were cracking up, having a good time, just ourselves. You know, we were having a good time. So we had fun in which, you know, I hope she can make it for the Soho San Rayburn game. Because, yeah, San maybe Rayburn needs all the support. Maybe Yay. when you're down, I'll have Natalie go to a game and she can come report. Oh, yeah. Like her and Sally go reporting, yeah. reporting live. Mm -hmm. So... But yeah, that's that's it for me, guys. I'm, it. I'm I'm pretty done here. So we did pretty oh, good for just not... a, hold on, just oh. a heads up, guys. I just need y'all to know there is going to be a Burlington report next week. Oh yeah. Okay, because I will be going to Burlington. Well, do I need to go to Burlington? I may depends. need to be going to Burlington this week. Depends on what um, our sons. Uh, attire looks like yes and my daughter needs something so i have to find something for her mm -hmm. so um there may be a burlington report stay tuned you know it's always a good time at burlington yep well i think that's good whoa whoa <laughs> sorry look over at the screen and all i see is two birds flying <laughs> and, and, and as always fly. you know 
Sally's mad because I have this shirt. I know. She thought she thought I made it or something. <laughs> I didn't make her one. I didn't make it. I wish I did. It's a good shirt. Yeah, that's a good shirt. Well, I think that's it for us. That's, that's it, guys. Leave. It was great. This is a good Sunday. Felt good. Sarah's Friday Night Lights, where she tells you everything but the game. <laughs> it's always great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm like, yeah, okay. When, when, when did we watch? When did we, what's the football like? Mm -hmm. yeah. What happened at the game? What? All I hear is about concessions. Hey, I told you about the band. Okay. The other team's band. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait. And then mm -hmm. on, and Creek came out and they had D R E. These big letters said D R E. I was like, oh my god, Dr. Drake's coming. <laughs> Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre is coming. He came on the right day. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. I mean, Beyonce may show up. I don't know what's it's happening. Dre this day. is great. It's Dre Day. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they kind of moved the D to the end, and it was red. And they played the Roxanne. Was out, of, out of water. They played Roxanne from Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. You know. That's you know. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So guys. that's it well, for I me, guess, guys. I guess there's uh, just one thing to say. Correct. We out. Wait. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, my yeah, bad. You Sorry, home. Sorry, guys. I can't say mine. Say mine. All right, guys. Crazy's on the mic. We out. We out, guys. Bye, locals. Next time I'll remember to turn on the, the live stream button. Forget again. <laughs> Peace out. Bye.